It seems as if everyone is in need of a guide for the best way to grind essence in Skyblock. So today, that's what we'll go over. How to farm every single kind of essence as effectively as possible. So you can upgrade your dragon armor, ice weapons, wither armor, or anything of the sort. Also, remember to subscribe because, like, these videos take ages to make and the only way I can establish dominance over every Skyblock YouTuber is if you subscribe. Spam the video to your friends, family, pets, that's right, make your goldfish watch my video. I could talk for hours, but I won't waste your time. The button's down below, and at 30,000 subscribers, I'm literally going to dress up as a clown for a stream. So subscribe to make me suffer. Thanks, and enjoy the video. First, let's quickly go over every kind of essence. You've got Wither, Spider, Undead, Dragon, Gold, Diamond, and Ice. Most of these have different methods of finding them, and we'll cover each one. If I'm not lazy, I'll add chapters to the video, so if you grab the little time bar thing, you can skip to the essence you want to see first. Alright, let's get into a run. I'll start with Wither, since that seems to be what most people are here for. Wither essence can be obtained two ways, the first being through loot upon completing a dungeon run. The other way comes from salvaging items like the Silent Death. Basically, all of your essence will come from completing dungeon floors. So what floor is best for this? And how can you speedrun it as fast as possible? Well, the later floors give more Wither Essence, but that doesn't mean we should grind Floor 6. You can actually get a Floor 5 speedrun done much faster. Since Score has no influence on Wither Essence obtained, you should run the newest floor that you can beat without completing any puzzles. Most parties cannot beat Floor 6 without finding secrets and doing puzzles because they won't have enough blessings to survive. If you somehow can defeat Sedan without doing any of the puzzles, by all means, grind Floor 6. But for most of us who can't, Floor 5 is significantly easier and faster to complete. If you missed yesterday's video, we went over the best way to grind dungeons as fast as possible. Use the tricks in that video to complete Floor 5 and Floor 6 as fast as you can. Remember to go straight to the Bloodroom and Boss, since nothing else matters when farming Wither Essence. A tip for Floor 5 Boss is to cram everyone in the top of the map at the start. This way, everyone can attack all of the Livids at the same time, speeding up the fight drastically. The faster you are able to complete these floors, the quicker you will get Wither Essence. Alternatively, although this one isn't recommended, is to buy Silent Deaths off the Auction House and salvage them. Just please, don't pay more than 100,000 coins. The Epic ones also give more Essence, so if you see a cheap Epic one, feel free to snipe it just for the Essence. You can usually get 100 Essence for around 2 million coins, so while this isn't recommended at all, it's certainly an option that shouldn't go unmentioned. Next is Spider Essence. The only real use for Spider Essence is the Tarantula Helmet, so I'll cover it quickly. There are two main large rooms in dungeons that can have a lot of spiders. Rush through floor 6 looking for spider rooms. If you find them, kill the spiders. Otherwise, stop at the blood room and restart. Occasionally, cell spiders will sp spawn behind blown up walls, but it's much faster to just charge through looking for spider rooms. Use that to get as much Spider Essence as you need. Undead Essence is a bit strange. You'll actually want to select Berserker as your class. Also, pick up a Hound Pet, since it increases the chance for monsters to drop their armor. Undead Essence is obtained by killing various dungeon mobs and salvaging their armor and weapons as they drop. Berserker seems to get the most drops, since something about the mage area of effect damage makes them drop it less often. I usually fill my inventory once or twice over per run when I play as Berserker. The floor you run doesn't matter, so just pick the latest one since it's longer, and you can spend less time looking for parties and more time slaying mobs. Just go through and kill all the normal enemies, and since the boss, like Wither Essence, Undead Essence is obtained through the boss chests. Rinse and repeat for maximum Undead Essence. This is by far the easiest essence in the game to obtain, so if you are looking to 5 star some Undead items, it won't take you long at all. Next up is Dragon Essence, and this one is a bit more tricky than the others. But since it has the ability to convert dragon armor into dungeon items, it's very much worth your time grinding. Dragon Essence can only be obtained from slaying lost adventurers. The good news here is, is that there are plenty of lost adventurers, and they are the most frequently spawning miniboss. The trick is to rush through every brown room and hunt down the lost adventurer. If you see one, slay it. When every key enemy is slain, a room will receive a white checkmark signaling you don't need to slay more mobs to progress. Simply rush through the dungeon ignoring secrets, puzzles, and speedrun every brown room hunting lost adventurers. Once you slay them all, either exit the dungeon or defeat the boss, it's up to you. For maximum efficiency, leave the dungeon when you get to the blood room. I'd like to start a new trend called Essence Run, where you set your dungeon party note to Essence Run with what type of essence you want. 
This signals to other players you, whether you need a healer or not. Since if you don't plan to defeat the boss, it doesn't really matter who joins the party. Oh wait, no one actually reads the notes. Well, try anyway. Gold Essence used to be the most coveted essence, but now it's mainly just used for the Hypercleaver. Since the Midas Sword has been outclassed by pretty much every dungeon sword in Floor 5 and 6, Gold Essence used to be obtained through the King Midas Room, but now if you choose to grind Floor 5 and up, there's a chance for the Blood Room to spawn Golden Enemies, which drop tons of Golden Essence. The most effective way to get Golden Essence now is by speedrunning the Blood Room of Floor 5. If the enemies are Golden, slay them. Otherwise, just restart the run. And if you see a King Midas Room, just defeat him for a couple extra Essence and a chance of the Midas Jewel drop. Within no time, you should be able to afford the Hyper Cleaver upgrade. Or the Midas upgrade if you just want to flex. Just don't actually use it in a dungeon, it's pretty useless there. Diamond Essence is very similar to Dragon Essence, except that angry archaeologists are much harder to find. I'd actually recommend staying at floor 1 and 2 for grinding Diamond Essence. This is because Shadow Assassins and Frozen Adventurers can't spawn, making the chance to find an angry archaeologist significantly higher. The best thing to do is to speedrun the floor 2 dungeon until the boss, then restart. This is similar to Dragon Essence, so there isn't much to say. If you are lucky, it can drop a diamond atom that applies the perfect reforge to armor. Besides that, it's just rinse and repeat grinding floor 2 until you are able to upgrade perfect armor to whatever tier you are seeking. The last essence is currently the best and rarest in the game, and that is Ice Essence. Ice Essence has numerous uses such as the Frozen Scythe, the Yeti Sword, and Frozen Blaze Armor. Many players grind Ice Essence, but the grind is so slow. Since Frozen Adventurers are so rare, the cost of Ice Essence is always too high. It's actually a lot easier to grind Ice Essence than people think. Just simply run Floor 6 looking for Frozen Adventurers just like with Diamond and Dragon Essence. Ignore all secrets, puzzles, and such, and just hunt the brown rooms for Frozen Adventurers. You almost certainly will die at the boss, but you can grab a lot of Ice Essence fairly quickly, while also getting about 1600 Catacombs EXP every 3 minutes if you go really fast. This adds up to 32,000 Cata XP an hour, which isn't terrible considering we are just going for Ice Essence. Personally, this is the most productive and fastest way to grind Ice Essence, and I highly recommend everyone starts grinding it. Not only will Ice Essence be cheaper, but that means we can 5-star our Ice items sooner and prepare for the last 3 floors and Master Mode. That's all I have for you today. We're two-thirds of the way to YouTube rank, and it would mean the world if you could subscribe before moving on to the next Skyblock video you watch. Thanks for your time, and have a good day. Take care.